Julia Smith of Signature Oyster Farm, and we are located in Agertown, Massachusetts on Martha's Vineyard. So when we get our oysters, we get them from a hatchery in Maine, and we get them as a very small size. They are the size of one millimeter, so the size of a grain of beach sand. You have to put them in this really fine mesh screen and basically you have to keep them moving so they need clean fresh wa ocean water flowing through them constantly because they're not going to stop eating um, and the more water flow they have the more they're moving around the more they're going to grow so i grew up in Eggertown. my dad was a commercial fisherman my whole life that's how he raised our family he would go out uh, cod fishing cod fishing got basically eliminated by overfishing i grew up working with him we ate whatever he caught I mean I had a rough life I ate lobsters bass scallops oh. sea bass a <laughs> lot of fresh fish I didn't like it back then but now I, I just can't even imagine that lifestyle that I had uh, just basically living and eating off of the ocean but uh, that's why I got into oyster farming because I could see the writing on the wall that you, you, mother nature it can't keep up you have to be able to grow something yourself and that's what my father he kind of told me you can't continue commercial fish it's, it's going downhill so I grew up and I saw the damage that can be done to the ocean by you know boats overfishing I want to do the complete opposite I just want to make like the ocean a better place so oysters are overall such an amazing thing as well as oyster farming one oyster can filter 50 gallons of water a day so they're cleaning up the waterways in so many ways possible and oyster is also so good for you it's filled with iron and zinc and protein and then with the oyster shell on itself after you eat the oyster that is like a landing pad for all this new life to be able to uh, be grown out there and so overall the oyster the shell the inside and everything is very good for you and the environment which is also you know part of us because we need the environment to be able to survive I re really do compare oyster farming, but to, farm to farming on the water. It's like growing a garden, but on the water. We're planting our oyster, we're checking on it daily, we're bringing it up, we're feeding it out from all the things to make sure there's more water flow. Farming is a very hard job. It's a physical job. Um, it's And it's growing and sourcing food. Farms um, really need to have support so that we can continue doing this and providing food and jobs and um, cleaning up the ocean. The most important thing is to keep it mom and pop farms. Um, to be able to grow up on the vineyard, have a family here, it, it's a big deal, it means a lot. Um, and the only way to do that is to continue to have mom and pop farms. So the Billion Oyster Project is, um, at first I think they were starting it as the Million Oyster Project, but has now bumped it up to a billion oysters is they've planted um, oysters and their shells into the East River in New York City. It's cleaning up the ocean there. It's cleaning up uh, or the river it, and the water as well. The other thing they're doing is they've actually taken the shells and have almost created these large artificial reefs underneath there. So they're, they're creating hiding places for other fish and animals. It has cleaned up the East River so much. They have now seen, and I have with confirmation, dolphins, humpback whales, things they haven't seen in there in years. They, another fact is, um, it is the cleanest the water has been in 110 years. And that is because of the oyster. We took a lot of our oysters and that we actually planted them there in an area hoping to start cleaning it up. Now, just like in the East River and Agertown Great Pond, nobody's gonna be eating those oysters. They're not for consumption. They are for to clean up the waters and to make the waterways better.